It's interesting, yeah. actually, um, when, you know, how these seeds are planted. And I think we had, we, our show had something mm. to do with this. So, yeah, well, a couple of weeks ago, you had uh, the brilliant Martin Lewis on here. Mm. Um, and uh, a young woman called in. I was watching the show, and a young woman called in who was talking about uh, trouble she got into with credit card yeah. payments. She got, it got out of control, and suddenly there was more and more charges going on. It was spiralling. And she was telling you about how the interest rate now was like 54%. And your reaction just absolutely crystallised for me how I feel about we've, this. We've actually managed to, to find it, so this right. is it. It started off when I took out the credit card at 36%, and I've just had a little... A letter come through um, to say that it's jumping up to 54 percent come oh April. Oh my God, that's terrible. That, that so is absolutely hideous. So your balance is 2,300 at the moment, isn't it, more or less? Yeah, like it's that, yeah. quite a lot. Well, it does. I mean, it begs the question: How is this allowed yeah. to happen? Well, how can exactly somebody what, that's yeah, what you said, Philip? You, I remember you kind of going, "How, how, how can this be allowed?" To... And I think there's a kind of sense that, you know, pretty much everyone I meet is a decent person, you know, I, I, and you kind of think, well. Things like this can't be going yeah. on out there. But they are. They are going on out there. People are being targeted. Often the people who can least afford it are being targeted by companies who are just trying to make as much money out of their financial troubles as they possibly can. And it's an outrage. And there's three sort of main areas that you're targeting. There's the, there's the rent to buy. So these are the sort of everyday household necessities that, that you know, oh, it might be a washing machine, yep. it might be a dishwasher, it might be a cooker, yep. that someone will buy for £345, but then it's a loan and they'll end up yep. paying triple well, exactly. I've got an four example times here. For example, a tumble dryer costs £300 to buy outright at a respected retailer. At a typical rent-to-buy shop, the cost is £741 over three years' payment. Mm. With maximum late payment charges, it could end up costing £1,317. Yeah. Disgusting. And this is the thing, see, it doesn't get presented like that. It gets presented as, here's the money right away. You can have the stuff. They're on your doorstep. You get the cash. Right? And you only have to pay a little bit back each week, you know. And you think, well, that's manageable. But you end up paying for on and on and on. And then sometimes people take out another loan in order to pay for the first loan and you get into more and more trouble. And if you don't make your minimum payment, you know, if you don't pay that, that the amount that week, suddenly there's more charges thrown on and more and suddenly court is... Bit, people are hounding you and it's, uh, it causes people to get so stressed out. I was talking to someone yesterday who got to the point where he had five or six of these loans. He couldn't handle it. He was going down and he was feeling suicidal and he got to the point where he wanted to kill himself, you know. And this oh is... The, the health effects on people are getting out of control. And the problem is, as Martin will say on this program, the the good deals, the credit cards that have sort of small interest rates and all those things, aren't available to people that need them the most. Exactly. So this is the thing: you can find yourself being shut out of mainstream credit. So when we talk about mainstream credit, we're talking about bank loans or, or arranged overdrafts and credit cards. But a lot of people who don't have a great credit rating suddenly can't get that. Now you can get a bad credit rating not just by not making payments on stuff in the past, but also because you haven't paid for credit. So mm -hmm. you think about all the young people. When I was when I was leaving home in Patalbert to come to London to you know to college, I had not a clue about money. Mm -hmm. My parents didn't talk to me about it, and I'm sure a lot of people don't talk to their children about it because you want to protect them from money issues, and it's a bit difficult to yeah. talk about. But you've got all these young people coming out with no credit rating unable to access a lot of credit, but then people come in and going, yeah, here's cash, here's cash. You can get into trouble so quickly. This is where you come in. This is End High Cost Credit Alliance. Mm. So, so what can you do to help all of that? Because we all know those problems are yeah. there, but what are you doing to make a difference? Well, though? we're trying to... The reason why I put together this alliance is to get a lot of different organisations, there's about 50 organisations and individuals who are all working around this issue in one way or another, whether it's regulators or policy makers, whether it's funders, uh, think tanks, fair, responsible credit providers, all of them together, to try and coordinate and do lots of different things at the same time, essentially. Because when I started looking at this issue, I realised it's really complicated. Mm. And you start to say, oh, well, but, well, you can't do that because of the regulation, you can't do this because of the law, and you can't do this because there's not enough money to support it. So what I started to realise was, if we can get everyone who's working on this, instead of working on their own individual bits, let's all work together, let's see if we can push this in a much fairer direction. Because the, the, there are companies out there who are putting the needs of the, the lenders, you know, at first and trying to create a relationship about it. Right. Understand your financial circumstances and to, and to work with you on it. If Maybe there are times when credit isn't the right thing for you. You know, these other companies, are, they're not asking questions about whether you can pay back. It's just give you the money, give you the and money. And they have great big advertising oh, campaigns that we all know about. Adverts them. on after all our favourite programmes because they've got the money to pay for marketing. These smaller companies who are trying to work with you, get you the best deal possible and look after you if you 
do get into trouble, so they, got, they don't have the same kind of money to put into them. You've got all sorts of, uh, uh, of companies, of people involved. So where's your shop window? How are you found? Uh, well, we are, we're the end high cost credit alliance, but the best thing to do if you're getting into any kind of trouble around debt or if you want some support to find these more responsible credit providers, then go to uh, Money Advice Service or go to the Citizens Advice or, of course, MoneySavingExpert.com, which is Martin's place. So yeah. th you will be able to be pushed in the right direction there if you go there. There are lots of actors who uh, back these causes uh, and put their name on them. Actually, mm. you've put your own money in this. Yeah, I've had enough of putting my name on stuff. I've had enough of turning up and having a photograph and... I'm done with that. This is, if, I, if, if I'm going to do something, I, I don't do anything by half. And so if I'm going to do something, I really want to get involved now. That's, this is a big change for me. So I put, my own, I put all my own resources into the, in not just this, but other uh, issues as well. They're all interrelated, whether it's homelessness or you know, whatever it might be. Um, and so now it's not, my resources are not just money. It's also leverage. You know, we, yeah. you know that we, with a bit of celebrity, you get asked to get involved in things. So I and, and have a platform. I can come on shows like this and talk about stuff. So now I want to use that. I want to. People say, well, put. Oh, he, it's easy for him to talk about it. You know, he's got plenty of money. Well, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Yeah. I'm not just talking the talk. I'm walking. Well, the walk. good for you. Uh, that does mean you better get back to work so you can yeah. pay for all of this, exactly. and it's a good.